This poem is composed by Matthew Arnold. The title of the poem is Shakespeare. Here, Matthew Arnold praises Shakespeare. Others abide our questions, thou art free. We ask and ask, thou smilest and art still. Out topping knowledge for the loftiest hill that to the stars uncrowns his majesty. Planting his steadfast footsteps in the sea, making the heaven of heavens his dwelling place, spares but the cloudy borders of his base to the un to the foiled searching of mortality. And thou who didst the stars and sunbeams know, self schooled, self scanned, self honored, self secure. Didst walk on earth unguessed at, better so? All pains the immortal spirit must endure, all weakness which impairs, all griefs which bow, find their soul voice in the victorious pro. By Matthew Anon. Now some facts about this poem Shakespeare by Matthew Arnold. This poem was published in 1849. 1849. The poet regards Shakespeare as a supreme artist. His detachment in the art speaks of his happy success over the pains and miseries of human life. The majestic march of the music and the noble diction of this almost perfect sonnet are admirably is keeping with its subject and with the grand and impressive imagery in which it is presented. Some lines like others free from uh, the first line others abide our question thou art free we ask and ask thou smilest and art still. This is asked in several exams in teaching exams. So what is the meaning? of this line we can make inquiries about other artists about about their lives etc but shakespeare is so detested that we cannot inquire about him from his work out topping knowledge what does it mean it means above all human knowledge uncrowns to majesty it means shows its grandeur foiled mortality the fruitless search of people who's to know <clears throat> whose imagination rose high to the sky means shakespeare's imagination rose to high high to the sky means shakespeare ki jo imagination hai wo bahut upar tak jati hai self schooled did not receive regular education in any educational institution सेल्फ स्कैंड इट मीन्स सेल्फ स्कैंड मतलब खुद के लिए खुद जानने वाला नोन ऑनली टू हिमसेल्फ सेल्फ ऑनर्ड ऑनर्ड बाय वर्ज यू ऑफ हिज ओन प्लेस मीन्स उन्हें सम्मान खुद के ही काम से मिला है सेल्फ सिक्योर सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंट और वो खुद ही बहुत कॉन्फिडेंट भी थे अनगेस्ट एट दे कुड नॉट नो हाउ ग्रेट अ जीनियस ही वॉज गोइंग टू बी that time when shakespeare was alive better so it is better that we have not gained full knowledge of shakespeare because we are still carrying on our inquiry means we are asking and asking and asking about shakespeare find to voice find a perfect expression in his art so he found a perfect voice in that victorious pro in the excellent work of shakespeare so you can see what does he mean by the voice in that victorious pro it means in the excellent works of shakespeare so these are the words which i tried to explain hope you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed please do subscribe like and share thank you so much